guys, what's up? Minecraft and more back with another video. And today what I'm going to show you guys is a mobs update review. review. So it's the 0.12.1 update. We have another update video for you guys. And this time it's my turn to make the video. And Zagros made a video yesterday on sprinting, sneaking, difficulties, hunger, weather, a lot of different things. So... Let's start this video. So before, I also have some settings that I want to show you guys in the video. So, let's go. So, I'm going to show you the difficulty settings. So, first of all, if you have no difficulty, you cannot spawn in any harmful mobs. So, let's try to spawn in a zombie. It won't work. If you turn on the first mode of difficulty, which is easy mode, they have moderate health. Actually, I don't, why is he burning? That's very weird. It is daytime, and it's covered roof. This is a weird glitch, actually. Hmm. Anyways, so... Yeah, that's weird. Okay, so if I spawn in zombies, they're not gonna actually have any armor on. But if I go to the next difficulty, which is the the normal difficulty, they could have, um, they could have weapons. I don't know if that's gonna... There we go. They have... He has a... Sorry, armor, not weapons. He has a... Uh, what am I saying? Oh, yeah. A leather helmet, so that's possible. So the next difficulty is the hard difficulty, and they could get enchanted, much better armor, or weapons. So, or, or chicken jockey, that works too. And there, here's one holding a, a shovel, I don't know which kind. But yeah, so they're all gonna die in a second. I don't know why, that's it's really weird. It doesn't really matter for me. But yeah, that's the difficulties. So hold on, I just need to get all these zombies, and this chicken jockey. I'm sorry, Mr. Chicken Jockey, and i sorry I have to kill the chicken too. I should have to clear this room, and most of them will die off, except for this guy with the leather helmet. Let me just get him. Boom. I want to get a critical hit. Boom. Oh, there we go. Nice critical hit, and yeah, he's dead. So, let's get to the next um, difficulty. Not difficulty. Next setting. So, we have a bit of third-person view. We have the regular third-person view, and then we have the new kind, which is the from this way. So, yeah. So it's like this, and it'll show you the mob like this, and it's pretty cool. So let's go to the controlling, the skin settings, you can actually do the same as 0.11.1. So the other thing that I want to show you guys is that this setting right over here, the swap, jump, and sneak. So at the beginning of the game, when you get the game, you will get, you will have like this. The sneak button will be over here, and the jump button will be over here. So I actually prefer it. I don't know. It's your preparation, but I like it more like the other, like older Minecraft updates where the jump button is in the middle. But the only difference between this one is that there's a sneak button on the side, and when you want to go up when you fly, you have to press the on the right side. So yeah, and sprinting remains the same. All the other controls remain the same. It doesn't matter because of the settings. And let's get to the next so thing. So the button size, of course, you already know what that is. And there's auto jump setting. So that's just only for a controller or a keyboard. Um, Zagros and I might get a controller. Um, well, one of us. I'm not sure who. But anyways, so this is just for a controller on if you want to auto jump or not. Because on Minecraft PC and Minecraft Xbox Edition, there is no such thing as auto jump. Also over here, there is the keyboard layout customization over here. So if you have a different kind of keyboard, in North America, you usually have the QWERTY keyboard. That's the usual one that you'll get. But they have other kinds in Europe, parts of Africa, Asia, and Australia. So, and South America, of course. So we have, there's the QWERTY keyboard, which is the regular one. There's the Quartz keyboard that you can set it as the Azerty keyboard and the Xerty keyboard. So it's just the, so how do you know what it is? It's just the top row of the keyboard. It'll be Q, W, E, R, T, Y, or whatever it is in this thing. So, and there's also the controller layout, which is for controllers, because you can play with controllers in 0.12.0. And I'll tell so there's different controllers. Xbox 360 controller will work. Xbox controllers, PS, PlayStation controllers will work if you have Android. But if you have an iPad, I think you need to be jailbroken. And my iPad is not jailbroken, and Zagros's iPad isn't either. But there's also other iOS controllers that you can get at Walmart, Amazon, eBay, whatever. So check that out if you want. And let's just press cancel. And let's go to the next option. So there is, um, the render distance remains the same, but there is this FOV, which is your 
forward orientation view, I think. I don't know, actually. I just invented that, so don't get mad at me if it's wrong. So if you change it, you will look like it'll be closer. So now I changed it all the way, and it's really kind of weird. Like, your view isn't as big. I find that really weird. Like, I don't change it. If you, get in, if you don't remember the spot that it was at, which is right here, it looks really weird. And over here, it's really weird. It looks like everything's so far away. Uh, I don't understand why people... You look taller, actually. It makes me look taller. I want to see third-person view for a second. Yeah, it's weird. It's just, yeah. It's kind of weird. But I'm going to set it back to the normal view, which is around here. So now that looks more normal to you guys. So let's get to the mobs. So, the new mobs that we have are ocelots. So I'm just going to show you how to tame an ocelot. And there's three different kinds of turn ocelots into cats. There's three different kinds of cats, so I'm going to try to get all of them for you guys. So let's try to get this ocelot to turn into a cat. And I'm going to see which cat it turns into. So let's tame it. Oh, that was one tame. And we have the normal cat, as I call the mittens cat, the black and white cat, because it looks like it has mittens. And let's try to get the next kind of ocelot. So they could be babies or adults. These ones seem to all be adults. And this is the next cat. It's the Siamese cat. So if you've never seen a Siamese cat, there's a lot of them. It looks pretty similar. And you could feed them with fish. And the main job of cats is to scare away creepers. So hold on, I'm just going to... I'm going to get the third kind, and then I'm going to show you. So if this ocelot comes to me and I tame it with raw fish... Make sure it's raw fish, guys, when you tame it. Because you cannot tame it with... No, that's a Siamese cat. Let me try again. The next one's actually going to be the orange tabby. I'll see if I can get it to work. And there we go. So this is the orange tabby right here. It's orange, and it's tabalicious. No, it's not. Okay, so let's see what happens when we put a creeper. So this is the main job of cats, because dogs are scared of creepers. So if a creeper comes, he will... He's, he's going to run away from all the cats. He's going to get far away as them as he can, and then he will not blow up. So you can hit him as much as you want. He'll just run as far as he can, and he'll... Yeah, so it's much easier to get creepers. So you just put your cats down, and they're safe. So this is the four kinds of cats. They will not attack mobs when you hit them like dogs, but that's okay. So the next mob that I want to show you guys are the nether mobs. So there's two mobs that are added to the nether that you can spawn in. I'm pretty sure there is a form of the wither skeleton, but I'm not actually sure. So let's just spawn in a ghast, and it's a huge mob. There's a, I think it only comes in one size, unless there's baby. I don't think there are. Doubt it. This is another one. Yeah, they're pretty big. So there's two hit kills, and what they're kind of they can't really move around here because they're it's kind of too small a space. They drop gas tears, which I you just saw there before. I'll show you. Maybe it'll drop one again. Doesn't always drop one. I'm not sure. So it'll actually be if you attack them, they'll shoot flaming um circles and like a blaze, but it's actually exploding. They explode, and it's really cool. So I want to hit this. Let's see what he does. Yeah, he cannot really go. And he, he, he look, he's crying actually. So there, he drops gunpowder and that little white thing that's a gas tier, and it's a max fee, of course, which I will collect. And that's the gas tier. And the gas tier is mainly for brewing purposes. And a lot of brewing things that you need for brewing, which is a gross, will be making that video probably tomorrow. Will be in with um, will be with getting um. What was I saying? Oh yeah, with getting things from the nether. So, and here's the other nether mob that I want to show you guys. It's the blaze. So here's the blaze over here. He actually does have a body. He doesn't look like he does. And he's a very fiery kind of guy. He can fly if he wanted to. So it's usually when you hit them. If you hit them, then they will start shooting these balls at you. Whoa, and you, you will catch on fire. And they actually have quite a bit of health. They're three hit kill with a diamond sword. And they will drop a blaze rod. The, which is also, it kind of just looks like an orange stick. It's used for brewing purposes again. So I have one right around over here. Or maybe I don't, oh yeah, right here. It's an orange stick. I'll call it the orange stick for you guys. Yeah. Anyway, so... Those were the mobs that I can show you in the 0.12.1 update. But there's actually a few more that I will show you a picture of. There's actually one more. So there's the Charged Creeper. So the Charged Creeper is a creeper that has been struck by lightning. So if you didn't know, there are thunderstorms as one of the weather options. And if the creeper gets struck by lightning, 
and within it, there's like a few block radius, he turns into a charged creeper. And I'm going to put a video up right for you guys. Uh, not a video, sorry. Um, a picture right up on the screen, probably. Just to interrupt this video. But, yeah. So, it's a charged creeper. It, it packs a bigger punch when it explodes. Much bigger radius of block. So, it's, it's the most dangerous creeper. And I think it cat's still scared away. So, yeah, guys. So, I hope you liked this video. Uh, if you liked it, then just put a like or a comment. And, subs and if you're new to the channel, subscribe. And as always, once again, this is Minecraft and more, signing off.